Um, Chair recognizes Councilwoman Parker. Thank you, Mr. President. I did not prepare to have any comments to make about um, what I know was um, a very difficult and hard to reach compromise and consensus that I feel was built. I want to thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership as the legislative leader of this body, attempting to balance the issues and concerns of 17 members who each have a right to be heard. I want to thank the administration for doing exactly the same and understanding that everyone's position added value to this discussion. There is one thing, Mr. President, that has bothered me after long discussions and late nights of hearings about this issue of consumption in minority communities. We've heard that message over and over and over again. And I believe it is true. There's a high level of consumption in minority communities. But I believe that if we are really interested and closing the gap between the haves and the have-nots in the city of Philadelphia, instead of thinking about that community, that minority community as a community of consumers, we should be thinking about why that community is consuming and not owning. Travel through those communities and see how many people in those neighborhoods who are consuming actually own a set in those retail outlets in those neighborhoods. They don't. Being said, I will not say all, Mr. Mr. President. And if I called you Mr. Speaker, I told you I have flashbacks sometimes. <laughs> but I will, I will say to you, Mr. President, after we get through tonight and as we move forward, I will look to you, sir, as the legislative leader of this body, my 16 other colleagues, along with, it, with the administration to let you know I will continue to work extremely hard in advocating for training so that the very people who are consuming can one day go back to the days when they held some ownership in those retail outlets. Thank you very much for your patience, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilwoman.